Tell me your experience. Well, I'm James Franco. Before James Franco took on the role of Day Skylark in the interview, before he received a Golden Globe Award for his depiction of James Dean in the Cable biopic of the same name, before he kissed half the dudes in Hollywood and grabbed phone numbers off underage fans, James first toyed with the idea of becoming a marine zoologist. He was a troubled youth who almost got himself thrown into juvenile detention, but he got his act together and instead enrolled at UCLA. He dropped out in his freshman year to pursue acting and for some time worked at McDonald's and at Medieval Times. He then took acting classes for 15 months before landing his first commercial. My name is Michael Bucredin and welcome to Before They Are Famous, documenting the life of James Franco prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Also let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Right. I'm crying. Yeah, but you, you knew Toby and you liked Toby. Oh, I don't man, know. you can come up with a million excuses or you can go with it and feel what you really felt. I'm I mean, I know trying, it's I'm scary, trying. but I'll just feel it. James Franco was born in Palo Alto, California on April 19, 1978. His mother, Betsy Lou Neverne, is a writer and occasional actress. The two have actually acted opposite one another on General Hospital. His father, Douglas Eugene Franco, ran a business out of Silicon Valley. James is the oldest of three boys, brothers to Tom and Davey. His father's background is Portuguese and Swedish. His mother comes from a family of Russian Jewish immigrants. James was a late bloomer when it came to puberty and recalls wondering why he hadn't started growing hair under his armpits like his peers. He concluded that it was likely because he was doing too much masturbation. Also growing up, he was a vegetarian. His father had long pressured him to get good grades and he excelled at math, but he had found a calling and a desire to be in the arts at an early age. In high school at Palo Alto High, he took the stage in the school plays and during the summer was enrolled in California State Summer School for the Arts. He got distracted for some time and got involved in underage drinking, also graffiti and theft. He organized this operation where him and his buds would steal cologne from department stores and then sell them to other kids in their class. And for that one, he got busted. But come on, like who didn't do that? I remember doing that. Not selling it, but stealing it. Ah. He eventually got his act together, got good grades, and scored well on his SATs. That's when he moved on to UCLA with a major in English. He had always dreamed about becoming an actor, but he feared the rejection. While enrolled at UCLA, he found out that the acting program, it would take two years before he could qualify. So then he decided to drop out of the school altogether to pursue his dreams, but it was against his parents' wishes. He was cut off from his parents financially, so he found work at a late night drive through working at McDonald's. During the day, he studied under Robert Carnegie at the Playhouse West. He would train relentlessly for 15 months, and the accents he would pick up in his class, well then he would practice them on people at the drive through Finally, he started auditioning, and he landed a role in a commercial for Pizza Hut. But his first big role was being cast in Judd Apatow's Freaks and Geeks with NBC. Judd Apatow later had this to say about him. What I remember about meeting James was that he had this really big mouth and he was very skinny and very greasy. And he really made me laugh. I thought he was funny and strange. We had no idea that he was attractive. We just thought he was like, you know, this wannabe cool guy. But then once he started working on the show, all the women in the office kept going on about this dreamy James Franco and Judd was like, who the hell are you talking about? Oh, him? Freaks and Geeks had only filmed for 18 episodes and then it was taken off air, but it has since become a cult classic. This is also where James would start up a lifelong friendship with Seth Rogen. Following this, he booked roles in Never Been Kissed alongside Drew Barrymore and whatever it takes opposite Shane West. His biggest break came in the role of James Dean, where he took up smoking two packs a day to get into character. He also learned to play the guitar and bongos and cut off contact from all those close to him. His hard work paid off as he got an Emmy nomination and a Golden Globe win. Following this, he got the gig in City by the Sea, a feature film with Robert De Niro, and to prepare for this role, he spent seven days living on the street. Next up, he auditioned for the role of Peter Parker in the Spider-Man film, but it went to Tobey Maguire. They liked his audition so much though, they gave him Harry Osborn, which isn't bad, really. On top of this, some interesting facts, the guy is a workaholic and likes to get things done in every minute of his day, which causes him to fall asleep in the strangest places. Actually, his brother Dave was living with him for some time and was able to take over the master bedroom because James Franco fell asleep everywhere but the bed. On top of that, he is also a serious painter and he loves education. The guy has been to practically every school in America. Um, and he's going on to get his PhD. Yeah. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is Before They Are Famous. My name is Michael McCreven. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do Before They Are Famous, I do After They Are Famous. I also make all sorts of other videos. Be sure to subscribe and let me know what celebrity you want me to document next in the comments down below. See you guys in the next one.